한국에 와서 와 당황했어요. 그래서 더 배워야 돼요. 그래서 더 열심히 공부해야 돼요. 왜냐면 제가 배웠던 내용들이 완전히 달라요. 마이 네임 이즈 지즌 바스코 앤 야, 아이엠 프롬 더 필리핀스. 아이 모브 인 코리아 백 인. 2007 February. It's a like Chinese New Year here. And came here to work as an EVS. Like it's a government to government um, mutual understanding of the Philippines and Korea. So through that process, um, I can apply um, in the Philippines and then yeah, came here as a worker. Um, my experience is really uh, quite interesting because uh, during my time, there's a lot of things that happen, and uh, during that time, like Korea is becoming just a well-known country to go to for you know in order to go to a work abroad. When I was applying, it took me like. I think three months just to uh, apply because going through the process you need to go to the certain agencies or government offices and then yeah fill some form and then pass your like requirements in order for you to to take the Korean language exam which will uh, enable you to come here. If you pass those that exam, then you will be qualified to come here to work. During that time, I only prepared actually for two weeks. So before uh, departing from the Philippines, um, we already got the, uh, the name of the company, but we don't have any uh, idea whether it is a small company or a big company. And because we already have this kind of uh, knowledge that if we go to korea the job that we are going to have is we call they call it 3d so it's very dangerous and difficult so uh, when i came here like i'm expecting you know like the worst case scenario like oh my, i might might have like a small company work for a small company and then just uh, live in container bands which i heard um, many stories about and the, the situation is uh, not good but yeah luckily like I uh, I was employed in a big company and it's really good um, you know company like there are there are jobs that are spe specified like when you apply that it's already are written on your contract but most of the time it's just like doing some trades work or like factory work thing and just uh, do what is available in the company so it's more of like all around like you do operate a machine you help and you somehow yeah um other for my case i work as a um quality con quality control at one time and then also uh, throughout my uh, job I work as a machine operator. Jason, you have to 한국, 한국에 오기 전에 뭐 조금 뭐 배웠지만 근데 필리핀에서는 그냥 뭐 높임말, 전댓말만 배웠고요. 근데 한국에 와서 와 당황했어요. 왜냐면 이제 진짜 이거 제가 배우는 제가 배우는 거 맞는가? 왜냐면 제 듣자마자 이거 완전히 달라요. 
음. 왜냐면 이거 반대말 나, 한국 사람 한국 사람들이 나한테는 반말 쓰니까 그래서 좀 당황했어요. 아 이거 같은 말인가 음. 그런 거 처음에 그렇게 어, 당황했는데 그래서 더 배워야 돼요. 그래서 더 열심히 공부해야 돼요. 왜냐면 제가 배웠던 내용들이 완전히 달라요. 왜냐면 학교에서 배우는 내용들이 회사에서 쓰는 말들이 달라요. 완전히 달라요. 음. 그래서 처음부터 시작하고 또 한국 매일 뭐뭐 자기 전에 자기 전에 뭐뭐 단어 외우고 네또 배우면서 어, 그 우리 동료 동 동료들 함께 이거 연습하고 아 그렇게 배웠고요. I am now studying. I'm now studying. I'm studying theology. Yeah, but I'm I'm studying in a Korean university right. in Korea. Wow. I worked for nine years in preparation for the university where they need you as a foreign student. You need you need to pass like a level three just for a. Um, enrollment. Uh, it's a topic level three. Hangugo yeah. uh, nung shiom. The thing is, like with me, at first I was culture shock because there's a lot of uh, uh, different things, and also the language barrier is really difficult. But uh, it leads me to work with my coworker. Like even though there's a culture difference, but as a foreigner living here in Korea, I need to adjust myself. I need to be, you know, like cope up with their culture in order for me to like belong. There is uh, discrimination at that time and we are being looked down because we are still like, you know, a contract worker, foreigner. But the thing is with my uh, co-worker, like the more I stay there, the more I get to know them, the more I become immense. I was immense with the Korean culture. I, I was able to overcome, like especially, like the loneliness, like come that comes from working abroad because you don't have anyone. You live here alone, and living here alone is the hardest thing because you may have a money, but without somebody by your side or any community that. You don't belong it's really hard to accomplish and the most uh, kind of the hardest thing for me that I struggle the most is hmm, as I um, so I've been living here for in Korea for 10, oh, yeah, 13 years like one thing that I can really advise anyone who wants to come here to work is just just remember first that you are the one who is going here in Korea going to work and you need to adjust to the culture of Korea which it may yeah might it's difficult at first but if you will not do that then it will be really hard for every anyone to work here. My experience, Korea becomes a home now. Like, because I belong now. I feel like I belong now. I'm a foreigner, but I for my for I think that for myself, like I already have like the I already grasp the Korean culture. If they will not like join the company Heshik because that thing is like really important for Korea for Koreans. Heshik is you know, like a company treat like out company, like, like outing go, uh, or dinner, dinner after work. Yeah. yeah yeah. So those kind of things. Yeah for some people who don't like to drink or you know like don't kinda they are kinda shy or scared to be put on the spot. But Throughout my experience, you know, I can guarantee you, like, if you went the first time they asked you to go out, 
their view on you is really different and they will be more uh, friendly or approachable because they it's kind of gathering or the heshik or the company dealer is somehow like is their platform in order for them to know you because in a company setting in a work setting it's just work 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 but yeah during the dinner time like company dinner and it's the time that they can oh like you know ask you some question be just uh, be just uh, who they are and just get to know you and many people don't like it to go but i advise everyone to go in order for you to be part and be belong to belong of the company so that you will not be you know like wangta <laughs> <laughs> that means like outcast. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, because it's kind of yeah sad because I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of those kind of things also because uh, they don't want to change or somehow adopt adjust themselves to the Korean culture, but that's why they end up like you know like having hard time coping up with work and staying living here in Korea itself. So, but the thing is, like, when you get to know them, they are really good people, you know, like, that's why I really enjoyed, like, in my company, you know, like, until now, I still have contacts with them, I talk to them, because they've been part of my life for 10 years, yeah, they become like a family, because we have this kind of bonding, like, it's not just a worker or a foreigner in a Korean, but rather, it's a friendly, you know, thing that, you know, you can... You can rely on them, you know, because they that's how they are. Yeah. Okay, Jason, uh salamat ken para sang interview. Wow. Uh, gahambal man ako sang Ilongo. I I'm speaking in Ilongo <laughs> for all wow. my Filipino or Ilongo friends out there, but uh, yeah, Jason and I speak a different dialect. He speaks Tagalog yeah. and Ilocano. Yeah, uh, Ilocano. Ilocano. I can a bit, and I speak Ilongo, yeah. but yeah, he speaks Korean, yeah. Tagalog, and English. I speak Ilongo, Korean, and English. Oh. <laughs> so we're good friends here in Korea. But yeah. yeah, thank you for the interview. I hope this video yeah. uh, <clears throat> helps some of you guys about what it's like to live as a Filipino in Korea, 13 years for him, yeah. and also for a foreigner. So. Yeah, guys. Yeah, thank you so much. I, mean, I hope to see you guys again later. And bye.